Recently, the director of DRDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment, the ARD, revealed that these advanced rockets have achieved a striking circular error probability, that is CP, of just about 2 to 3 meters, a feat that surpasses even Army's stringent precision requirements that were of 10 meters. So what makes guided Pinaka such a breakthrough? And why is it redefining India's artillery doctrine? What is the guided Pinaka? Let's decode. The guided Pinaka is an advanced variant of the indigenous Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher developed by the DRDO in collaboration with private industry. Originally designed for area saturation, the guided version now transforms the Pinaka into a precision strike weapon. It uses an onboard inertial navigation system augmented by GPS or NAVIC, enabling it to correct its flight path mid-air and hit targets with surgical accuracy at ranges up to 75 kilometers. India's guided Pinaka is now a hybrid, a cross between a rocket and a missile. Precision artillery made entirely in India with a circular error probability of just 2 to 3 meters is three times more accurate than global precision standards. Let's try and understand what is inertial navigation, but before we do that, let's try and figure out what are the vulnerabilities to a missile when it is in hostile territory. As you can see, this is a, a Royal Dutch Air Force missile that is flying and it is getting signals from uh, the uh, satellites, that is GPS coordinates it is getting and they can be interfered with. So, missile will lose its um, uh, target because of enemy interference. So, there are other types of method and one of the most reliable method is inertial navigation where the missile is using an accelerometer and a gyro uh, to carry out some dead reckoning. And to support that, it is using some other methods like what we can see here is uh, contour matching and uh, digital matching uh, uh, techniques in which like, like in this case a missile is uh, moving over a, a particular terrain. So it is trying to match the scene with the already stored images it has. Like in this uh, case, the missile is flying over ocean. Now, digital scene match matching, terrain contour matching does not work when it is to do with oceans and seas because there is no terrain. So the best uh, answer to that is your inertial navigation, as I said, because it is not relying on satellites, it is not relying on terrain or contour matching or scene uh, matching, it is purely relying on dead reckoning out of accelerometer and your gyro. In a remarkable achievement for India's indigenous artillery modernization efforts, A. Raju, director of the Armament Research and Development Establishment, the ARDE, has confirmed that the guided Pinaka rocket system has demonstrated a circular error probability of just 2 to 3 meters during tests, a performance standard that far exceeds the Indian Army's operational requirement of CEP of 40 meters. To put that in perspective, the Indian Army's operational requirement was around 40 meters of CEP. Surpassing this by a wide margin means that the rockets are now capable of neutralizing enemy bunkers, radar sites and even mobile artillery with minimal collateral damage. This level of accuracy was previously only available through imported missile systems. Now it is being made in India. A product of homegrown innovation and battlefield need, Pinaka has emerged as a powerful multi-barrel rocket launcher system changing how the Indian Army conducts deep strike operations. Named after Lord Shiva's legendary bow, the Pinaka is an indigenously developed multi-barrel rocket launcher system designed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO. 
It was conceptualized in the late 1980s as a replacement of aging Russian Grad rocket system. The need was clear. India wanted a longer range, high volume, quick reaction system that was capable of saturating enemy positions in a matter of seconds. The first successful trials of the Pinaka began way back in 1990s and by 1999 it proved its mettle during the Kargil war, where prototype systems were deployed for real battlefield validation. Since then, Pinaka has evolved into a family of systems. From Mark 1 to guided Pinaka with ranges now exceeding 75 kilometers and improved accuracy thanks to navigation and guidance modules. It's mounted on a high mobile 8x8 vehicle capable of firing a salvo of 12 rockets in just 44 seconds, devastating enemy fortifications, supply lines and troop concentration. Today, it is not just a symbol of India's defense self-reliance under Make in India, but a frontline asset deployed across critical sectors from Western Front to the line of actual control. So why the guided Pinaka matters to the Indian Army and why it is a tactical game changer. With the rising threats across both Western and Northern frontiers, the need for long-range precision artillery that can hit without troop exposure has become critical. The guided Pinaka can strike beyond enemy lines, avoid civilian zones and operate in electronic countermeasure environments, making it ideal for mountain warfare, cross-border counterforce operations and support for integrated battle groups, now the new Rudra brigades. Combined with drones and satellites for target acquisition, it represents a revolution in artillery fire control. From area bombardment to pinpoint elimination, the journey of Pinaka rocket system mirrors India's defense transformation. What was once a barrage weapon is now a precision artillery tool capable of doing what missiles do, but faster, cheaper and indigenously. In other words, when artillery starts to think like a missile, it's the guided Pinaka. This is not just engineering excellence, it is a strategic empowerment.